Hello everybody, welcome to the Biker Baker and Mr. Smith Show. Today we're going to do chicken casserole. Sounds yummy to us. We are starving. <laughs> so I don't know, we're going to wait till it even gets cooked. We're like, oh. So I have a 9x9 pan right here. And we bought a rotisserie chicken. So it's already seasoned. So if you want to put your own seasonings on a chicken, you can boil chicken, you can bake chicken, roast, whatever you want to use. So this is a whole chicken. It was a little puny. It was from Kroger, but it's gonna do the job. So we got that all tore up in there. And now we're gonna make some topping to put on it. We're going to use one box of stove top. Now we may need two, Right now, we need one. We're just gonna try it with one. So whatever kind you want, they have cornbread, they have savory herb, they have turkey, chicken, whatever you wanna use. And we're going to put in a medium onion. Put that right in with that. Yum. Yeah. <clears throat> Trying to think what I'm going to do. A cup of chicken broth. I'm going to put that in there. And a stick of butter. We're going to get this going and let this sit for a little bit. Stir that all up. Let that get all soaked in there. All right. So... Let me get another bowl. I forgot. Of course. All right. We'll get another bowl and we're going to put in our cream of chicken soup. One 10 ounce can. Got to get all that out there. Anybody been getting stuff out of their gardens yet? Ours is green. We're working on it though. All right. So we've got a can of chicken soup, cream of chicken soup. You can use cream of mushroom, cream of celery, whatever you want to use. And a quarter cup of milk. This one's very versatile, guys. You can use milk, you can use heavy whipping cream, half and half. Evaporated milk, whatever you want to use. Chicken broth. You can use chicken broth. That's what I was getting ready to say. I know. I know you know. <laughs> so get this all mixed up and then we're going to pour that over top of our chicken. Well, I know Mr. Smith would say, why didn't you just mix the chicken with it? Right? Uh -oh. oh, that's what you were thinking. No. Okay. So we're just going to pour this over top of this and then as it heats, it's going to Drain on down through the chicken. So it'll just marinate the flavor is what you're saying. Yeah, it'll go right down through there. It'll all get together anyway. We can't wait to have it. Yeah, we did a watermelon fast yesterday. <laughs> we did a cleanse yeah. yesterday. Watermelon. Oh my. Watermelon cantaloupe. That's all we ate. And we're starving today. Well, and he said, why do we put ourselves through that? <laughs> I don't know. I do not know why we do that. All right. So we're going back to the stuffing where it's absorbing. See, all of that butter and um, Yumminess. chicken broth. Yeah. So now we're just going to spoon that on the top of our chicken and soup. You know, we may have to have the other one. Oops. We, depends on how thick you want it on top. Well, I'm just using a smaller pan. Well, it smells good. I love stuffing like that. I love stovetop stuffing. Mr. Oh. Smith makes a good stuffing too, though. I like to make my own. Yes, he, he does make his own, and it's delicious. 
I think it's going to be enough here if I don't eat any of it. <laughs> what do you think? You want the other one? Or you think we're good? No, I think we're good. All right. I'll let him decide sometimes. Sometimes he said. You hear, <laughs> hear that, guys? <laughs> I'll let him decide sometimes. All right. That's it. One pan. Not a casserole. So we're going to put it in a 375 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes. Are you forgetting anything? What am I forgetting? Vegetables. Well, I didn't put them in it. I didn't get it out. Okay. You can do it with vegetables or without. Okay. And the reason why he's talking about that is because we talked about it this morning about putting vegetables in it. Now I got it all together. Now I can't put it back. I can't tear it all apart now. It'll be fine like that. I just wondered why you, because you Cause said I, you were going to. I it. know. And I forgot to get them out because we did talk about it. But you can do it like this or you can add your vegetables and it could be a one pan meal with the vegetables and the meat. That's right. Which is what our plan was, but you know, I get my mind set on something, and if it ain't out, I forget it. Even if it is out, I forget it. Be right in front of me. It's all right. I don't care one way or the other. I just, you know, uh, you said that. So I know. I thought about it. And I, I said just thought it. I would tell you before you put it in the oven. Well, it's too so. late. You should have told me like two minutes before. <laughs> all right. So three seventy-five, thirty to forty minutes, and we'll be back. All right, guys, if you haven't seen the short of us doing crafts yesterday, some stuff that we did, Mr. Smith made this bowl, and it's made out of walnut. It's called a gouge bowl. It's made out of walnut from the house here, one of our walnut trees. And um, we're going to put some fruit in it, or he said he's going to eat soup out of it. Because it's not, um, it's not polyurethane. He just put some olive oil on it to get it to soak in there. So we'll see if he eats his lunch out of it today. This thing pretty heavy though. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> but you could keep that on the table with nuts or chips or fruit or something in it. Yeah, yeah. like a charcuterie board. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's beautiful though. I just had to show it again. If you haven't seen the short on it, I, I put one up. Um, there, our chicken stuff is done. Alexa, stop. So we're going to get it out of the oven and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I had it in the oven for 30 minutes at 375. If you want the uh, topping a little crisper, you can leave it in there a little bit more. It's starting to get brown here, but we're starving. So I couldn't wait anymore. We gotta have it. I'll put some out here to let it cool just a, a second. You can see it's still steaming. It's still hot, but let's go in. He said, I wish you would have put the peas and carrots in it. I said, I know, but I forgot. <laughs> It'll be good just like that. Though. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Mm. I love stuffing anyway. So, you know, like if you're, you're wanting like a turkey Thanksgiving dinner, make this and with some sweet potatoes on the side or something. Oh. Then you have your turkey dinner or your Thanksgiving dinner. This you can use put a turkey, turkey breast? You can use turkey in it. Um, I even looked at that because Kroger had a turkey breast that was already done up right there in the bag. Mm -hmm. I looked at that too. But we got the chicken instead. So, guys, this is delicious. If you want to try it, I will leave the ingredients in the description box. I will also put a, a cup or of vegetables, optional, if you want. And all your seasonings, you can Peas put... Peas and carrots. <laughs> you can put, um, like I said, salt, pepper, thyme, any <clears throat> kind of seasonings you want. We had a rotisserie chicken, so we really didn't think we needed any other seasonings on it. So, like, comment, share, subscribe, please, and help us grow. And we love you all. And thanks for watching the Biker Baker and Mr. Smith Show. Peace out. Chicken casserole. <laughs>